decision. Can your employer make you get a vaccine? Right now, yes. But a new bill would prevent that from happening unless the vaccine manufacturers can be held accountable for negative effects. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple reports on House Bill 1352. Vaccine manufacturers largely aren't liable for negative effects their shots may cause. Because of that, Representative Jeff Hoverson doesn't think anyone should be mandated to get one. And that's the essence of his new bill. It's all been warp speed. Who would want that if the manufacturers can't even stand behind their product? But there is recourse for those who've experienced adverse effects. They can submit a claim through the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program, although it rarely pays out. For every 1 million vaccines administered, there's typically one case that will be compensated out of this injury compensation program. Hall works at NDSU's Center for Immunization Research and Education and says that number adds to the overwhelming evidence that vaccines work. A lot of people will misconstrue this vaccine injury compensation program as uh, proof that vaccines are not safe and in reality they show us how safe vaccines actually are. A handful of people testified in support of the legislation including a controversial figure who has spread unsupported claims about COVID-19. Hoverson invited him to speak. We're about to move into a space where there's going to be forced or mandated vaccines upon adults. Department of Health Immunization Director Molly Howell says that's not what's happening. Not heard of anyone planning to mandate COVID-19 vaccine, but no, I think the benefits of COVID-19 vaccine far outweigh any risks. Howell opposes the bill and says vaccines are safe and the best way out of the pandemic. Plus, she adds North Dakota already has one of the most relaxed laws in the country for vaccine exemptions for students in public school. We're one of only 15 states that still allow moral and philosophical exemptions. A parent just simply has to sign a form that's available on our website or at the school saying they don't want their child to be vaccinated. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. The House Industry Business and Labor Committee heard testimony this morning but did not yet vote on whether to recommend the bill's passage. The North Dakota legislature